10 year old muscle weakness abdominal pain fatigue and he has high lead levels one question on porphyria without that there will be no paper very high yield topic lead basically inhibits two enzymes doctor one is ferrochelatase it will inhibit second is ala dehydratase is the another enzyme which it will inhibit ala dehydratase agar inhibit ho gaya to ala ka metabolism nahi hota amino levulanic acid ka isliye amino levulanic acid ka levels blood mein badh jayega so that is the answer whenever the lead toxicity is there which porphyrin get affected is a very important question once more pga ka discussion ko aap aaye to main dikhaunga aapko porphyria ke question zarur hota hai next monday ki exam mein i mean sunday ki exam mein there is a hypoglycemia hepatomegaly muscle weakness limit dextrinosis is the name given for cori's disease basically so limit dextrins are accumulated what is that glycogen storage disorder kaise question hai ye list wala question hota hai hexosaminidase deficiency is called which what gotcher's disease mein which enzyme will be deficient which glycogen storage disorders mein liver injury will be there where will be brain injury will be there ye sab subah uthte uthte hi aap revision karna padega iske liye pehla ek bar padhna to padega hmm so that is co recycle co rec uh, uh, disease it is also called forbes disease because forbes is the one who discovered it because there were limit dextrinosis and what is the problem in co recycle debranching enzyme is deficient glycogen ko break karte waqt slaughter house mein isko tota chote chote pieces karna padta debranching enzyme ka zarurat hota agar wo deficient hai to kya ho ho jata still do that glycogen precursors which are not at well branched well debranched they get accumulated what are the debranched glycogen precursors are called as they are called as limit dextrinosis is what you have to basically remember every glucose is attached with another glucose by using one four linkage at the branching points you have got a special one six linkage you require a special debranching enzyme to cut those branches and that is the one which is deficient in the case of the cori is what need to be remembered then out of the first 20 topics comes the glycogen synthesis and glycogen degradation in the high yield topic list for you without that there is no paper glucose 6 phosphatase which breaks down the glucose 6 phosphate into glucose is the one which is common between both uh, the uh, glycogen synthesis and also glycogen degradation is what you have to basically remember budget between glycogen synthesis and gluconeogenesis or glycogenolysis what is the same question same question yes sir no uh, what is the correct frame of the question glycogen glucose 6 phosphatase was not in the options you mean because that is the only enzyme which is common for both glyco transferase was there eh? glyco okay uh, i'll come back on this <clears throat> crumpled tissue appearance kaha hota hai whenever there is a gotcher's disease glucose cerebrosidase deficiency accumulation of the glucose cerebrosis sites will lead to that crumpled appearance in the case of the gotcher's disease and they're very predictable topic in uh, high yield topic list इन फास्टिंग आरबीसी किसका इस्तेमाल करेगा अगर फास्टिंग हो नहीं तो आप दावत में जाके बिरयानी खाओ आरबीसी का को खाली ग्लूकोज खाने का चांस है वो और कुछ नहीं खा सकते क्योंकि माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया नहीं है उसके अंदर माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया नहीं है तो वो फैटी एसिड्स का इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते सो वॉट इज द ओनली थिंग दट हैपन्स इन द साइटोसॉल ग्लाइकोलिस द रीजन वेदर फास्टिंग or whether anything you are doing it can only use glucose even to use ketone bodies acetone acetoacetate etc you require mitochondria 
So that is the reason it can't even use the ketone bodies for energy is what you have to appreciate. Without HIV drugs, कभी भारत में एंट्रेंस होता क्या नहीं होता आप एबीपीजी गए तो स्टेट एंट्रेंस में लास्ट बिफोर ईयर व्हाट इज द फ्यूजन इन है बेटा एनफोवर टाइप एंड देर ईयर वन मोर क्लास ऑफ ड्रग और देर साइड इफेक्ट्स वन ऑफ अदर क्वेश्चन ऑन एच ये पूरा प्रिपेयर होके अगर आप एच का आंसर रॉन्ग करें तो इट इज लाइक डाइंग in a dump in the backyard of the house in spite of living like a king throughout the life so that is the reason minimum minimums first first things first is the rule in entrance preparation whenever you open the book pharmacology mein bahut cheeze hote hain agar aap cadzen ka opening kare to pehla hiv drugs padhna पहला ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम का बीटा ब्लॉकर साल्फा ब्लॉकर्स, व्हिच इज क्रॉसिंग ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर व्हिच इज नॉट क्रॉसिंग व्हिच इज लाइफ इट सॉल्यूबल वो सब चीजें पढ़ना है हा? तो प्लीज गो टू दी हाईल टॉपिक लिस्ट डोंट फॉरगेट सकिना वेर इज बेसिकली वॉट डॉक्टर प्रोटीएस इन ए बीटा यू हैव मेरेविरोक एनफोवर टाइट विच आर कॉल्ड एंट्री इन एंड वॉट आर NRTI is zidovudin abacavir so abacavir is a very it is not protease inhibitor lavudin emtricitabine and tenofovir non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors may you have got first and second generation nevirapine ifavirin are first generation itavirin and nilpivirin are basically called second generation then one of the favorite mcq which is going to come in any entrance which is specific class of anti retroviral drugs hiv2 is naturally resistant nnrtis nnrtis have no action at all on hiv2 that's the reason before starting anti retroviral therapy you will always do what type of hiv is there in the patient also is what you need to remember then you have raltigravir and uh, elvitigravir they are all basically integrase inhibitors then you have lopinavir indinavir nelfinavir sakinavir everything they are the protease inhibitors is what you need to remember without a question on diabetic drugs show me one md entrance exam we will stop teaching okay definitely one question will come one type of insulin naye to naya naya aa rahe naya naya cheez aa rahe future is all about insulin tablets also so don't prepare until then before that only get the seat so doctor what is rosiglitazone it is a insulin sensitizer it doesn't increase insulin production what it will do it will make the receptors more sensitive to the actions of the available insulin then what is exenatide exenatide is called glucagon like peptide 1 agonist glucagon like peptide 1 agonist it is also called incretin mimetic is the name given its ultimate action kya hota hai doctor to increase the insulin production because of its glucagon like uh, peptide action it will cause the stimulation of the insulin production is what need to be remembered then what is sitagliptin ramagliptin lakshmanagliptin you must know all gliptins they are dipeptidyl peptidase for inhibitors so that the glucagon like peptide inactivation ko wo prevent karke glucagon like peptide ka action ko badhate hain sitagliptin then repaglinide repaglinide also will basically acts just like uh, your sulfonylureas it will cause the release of the insulin so all others will cause insulin release but not rosaglitazone pyoglitazone thiazolidine dione derivatives is what you need to remember mild to moderate hypertension mein kya dete hain thiazide biscuit question then uh, with ah uh, this is tricky doctor very tricky question so it comes from high yield topic list okay that's the reason whenever you are reading a topic no 
एक हाईल टॉपिक आप पढ़ रहे तो यू थिंक लाइक एग्जामिनर अगर मैं एग्जामिनर है तो मैं इस हाईल टॉपिक में जरूर एक क्वेश्चन क्रिएट करूंगा इफ यू गो विद दैट किलिंग इंस्टिंक्ट वाइल रीडिंग द टॉपिक ओनली हाईल टॉपिक देन डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट द सेम थिंग एज ए क्वेश्चन इन द एक्चुअल एग्जाम एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली किल द आंसर ओके सो डॉक्टर न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट है फोलिक एसिड दे रहे ऑलरेडी एक बेबी न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट से पैदा हुआ इसको वॉट इज द रिकमेंडेशन हाउ मच शुड बी द डोसेज ऑफ द फोलिक एसिड दट यू वॉन्ट टू नॉर्मल वुमेन में अगर आप 400 माइक्रोग्राम्स दिए तो चलेगा एज ए प्रिवेंटिव मेजर फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग दी फोलिक एसिड आई मीन न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट मगर ऑलरेडी जिसको प्रीवियस हिस्ट्री ऑफ न्यूरल ट्यूब डिफेक्ट्स होता है उन लोगों में 4000 थाउजेंड माइक्रोग्राम्स ऑफ द फोलिक एसिड नीड टू बी बेसिकली एडमिनिस्टर्ड इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्कोर टू ऑल ऑफ यू देन द पेशेंट इज हैविंग साइकोसिस एंड हाइपर काइनेटिक डिसऑर्डर बिकॉज ऑफ द हेलोपेरिडॉल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू बेसिकली मैनेज इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैन यू गिव द बोर्ड प्लेस basically doctor what is the story about d1 d2 d3 d4 whenever dopamine comes and binds with d1 or d2 or d3 our muscles will cause the movement of us so for our movement what is required बाइंडिंग ऑफ D1, D2, D3 को डोपमिन आके बाइंड हुए तो बेसल गैंगलिया में मूवमेंट आता है D4 फोर इज एज डोपमिन रिसेप्टर इसका स्पेशलिटी क्या है अगर डोपमिन आके इसको बाइंड करे तो नॉर्मल लेवल्स में हमको हैप्पीनेस होता है विल बी वेरी हैप्पी ओ विल बी वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट अवर फ्रेंड्स पासिंग द एग्जाम और uh, If dopamine adequate quantity में है तो even if you fail in exam also, you'll be very happy. Why? Because dopamine normal level में है तो dopamine अगर बहुत बढ़ गए तो ज्यादा हो गए तो pitchosis will occur. So you will typically become psychotic. If your friend comes and tells a good news that he passed in the exam. you will immediately take a knife and cut his head if too much dopamine is there then if dopamine is less than amount even if you pass in exam you will be sitting in a dark room and crying are my first ranker kyun ban gaya gadhe ke jaise kaam karna karna padta 3 saal ke md mein bol ke aap rote hue baith jayega so everything of our life are we jumping and catching the seal i mean ceiling or are we jumping into water and dying kiske haath mein hai doctor dopamine ke haath mein hai so that is the reason to treat the pitchosis psychosis what is the action of the drugs they are all anti dopaminergic in action anti dopaminergic in action but if you give a anti dopaminergic drug instead of acting not only on d4 if it is also causing dopamine depletion on d1 d2 and d3 then who get affected our movement get affected so tell me one movement disorder where there is a dopamine deficiency parkinsonism another another condition you have chorea acidosis hemibalismus they are all extra pyramidal disorders of movement because of the alteration in the dopamine levels inside uh, the basal ganglia the reason all anti psychotic drugs like haloperidol which are non specific not only on d4 if they are acting on d1 d2 d3 iska effect ke wajah se kya ho jata extra pyramidal side effects like uh, perivoral movements rabbit like movements etc is the problem how will you treat it very simple always there is a balance between dopamine and acetylcholine in the brain if dopamine is relatively deficient 
to treat that situation make the acetylcholine also become relatively deficient that is the way by which you can treat the extra pyramidal movement disorders caused by dopamine deficiency by antagonizing the acetylcholine levels if you don't get see to what is the only reason you will start smiling if your roommate also didn't get the seat so that is the reason anticholinergic ka istemal karna padta humko seat nahi aaye unko bhi seat nahi aaye kuch hai humko seat nahi aaye unko seat aaye too much no we are going to severe depression ek mahine mein bahar nahi nikalte ek saal lagega and on the top of it he will come with a wedding card and when you open the wedding card you will discover the girl about whom you fantasized entire four and a half years and uh, you plan to propose after getting md that's the reason don't wait until results come results can be anything but this is certain thing no that's the reason don't uh, for uncertain things disturb the certain events that's what i want to tell but entrance getting also is certain 700 topics padh lo 130 questions correctly answer karo 100% jitna shaadi certain hai utna certainly seat bhi mil jayega ha huh? to so, doctor how will you treat you can give benzotropin is the best drug to treat the psychotic induced antipsychotic induced dyskinesias second choice is promethazine which is antihistamine is considered to be the second important drug rarely we use dizepam benzodiazepine he is watching it to understand one more autonomic nervous system receptor wala question do ho gaya na ans pharmacology ka receptor wala now tell me pharmacology itna bada subject hai bahut kuch cheeze de sakte examiner but examiner will not give whatever he want to give because wo oh, examiner ke haath mein nahi hai he has to pick up compulsorily from certain x number of topics only 130 question 65% paper he has to give standard only whether he is all india institute or uh, any board of examiner okay so it is basically m2 m1 oxotremorin ask your friends to remember you don't remember m2 is metacolin you remember m3 is bitanicol is what you need to remember now doctor highest number of questions in microbiology till now do you have topic list in your hand kisi ke paas hai diya nahi ya nahi diya ah microbiology mein dekho doctor highest number of questions kis mein aaye this list was published 4 years back kis mein aaye streptococcus streptococcus ke bina hota kya entrance exam nahi ho sakta what are alpha hemolytic streptococci what are beta hemolytic streptococci what is novo bios and sensitivity what is aptogen resistance everything you must know okay so streptococcus how will you detect i don't know what were the other alternatives or is it the same frame of question no no what was the frame of question post streptococcal state me glomerul nephritis me to evaluate what will you use oh actually the uh, recall the question na isliye thoda idhar udhar but ultimately it is a question on streptococcus that is more important at this hour huh? so topical spastic paraparesis without a question on hiv and retroviruses there will be no paper it is fourth or fifth high yielding topic in the topic list so it is htlv rna dependent dna polymerase jiska dusra naam hai reverse transcriptase Other than retroviruses, कहां कहां होता है रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस इट विल ऑल्सो बी फाउंड इन हेपेटाइटिस बी विच इज अंबर ऑफ दिपैटना विरिडे एंड इन एडिशन इट विल ऑल्सो बी देर इन दिट्रो वायरसेस वॉट इज द थर्ड हाइल्ड टॉपिक इन द टॉपिक लिस्ट गिवेन टू यू इम्यूनोग्लोबल है या नहीं वॉट इज द टॉपिक हाइल्ड प्रायोरिटी लिस्ट फटाफट बोलो Fifth is immunoglobulin. Without one immunoglobulin, IgG crosses placenta. Danga behti hai. IgM, it is important for the primary response whenever infection is there. IgA, 
is secretory immunoglobulin IgE is in immediate hypersensitivity and mast cell. One question on uh, immunoglobulins will definitely will be there in every entrance. HPV does not cause which type of carcinoma? Fadabad bolo HPV higher nahi top 10 rank 10 topics mein. Higher nahi. Hepat uh, human papilloma virus. Huh? Topic number? Chlamydia etc etc HPV also very high yielding topic why we are in India where cervical cancer is there and everything about HPV you should be 100 percent sure so that is the reason doctor it lead to tonsillar carcinoma nasopharyngeal carcinoma but not the base of the tongue carcinoma becomes the answer of HPV then a patient is having fever and night sweats and weight loss and found to have caseous necrosis that means we are talking about TB, granuloma. What is the constituent of granuloma? Modified macrophages and lymphocytes. Padne ke jarurat hai? Nahi hai. Pathology, agar 50 marks out of 100 aage hai, MBBS mein, you can still answer this. Okay. So, simple question. Then, uh, inheritance of blood groups follows which pattern? Huh? Codominance. Last before week, jo nim set hua na, Usme ek pedigree deke which type of inheritance pattern was asked in the entrance. So one question definitely on inheritance aega. Dukin's muscular dystrophy is which inheritance? X-linked inheritance. X-linked inheritance. Aapko pathology list mein inheritance patterns is which number topic deko? High yield topic list mein. Within the top 10 mein ek inheritance patterns pathology ka. Huh? 12th and 12th. Every entrance you go, ek mitochondrial inheritance ke upar, ya which type of inheritance is this? Or which type of inheritance mein vertical transmission hota, horizontal transmission hota, complete penetrance hota, variable expressivity hota, everything you must know. And which type of inheritance mein phenomena of anticipation hota bolo? Which type of inheritance mein phenomenon of anticipation will be found? Autosomal dominant. Whenever there is a trinucleotide repeat defect in Huntington's chorea like condition, grandfather gets the problem at 70, father gets at 50, grandson gets at 30. Such worsening of the symptoms down the pedigree is called phenomenon of anticipation, which is found in autosomal dominant. So, definitely one question will come. Starry sky appearance may, what type of oncogene will be found? It is typically found in Burkitt's lymphoma and it is the C mic mutation is what need to be remembered. Lymphomas are in the top 15 topics, otherwise oncogenes also is in the top 15 topics, definitely one question will come. Every entrance you go, in the topic list given to you. Now doctor, ek heat stroke, heat syncope, one of the routine questions. What is the difference between stroke, syncope, exhaustion? Agar syncope ya exhaustion liye to, all our autonomic nervous system will compensate to cause the heat loss from the body, like sweating everything. This way, heat won't build in your body. But heat stroke may kya ho jata? That autonomic defense mechanisms which are available, like sweating, they are not there. And that is the reason the people will get heat stroke. Heat stroke is most dangerous form of the heat injury, is what you need to remember. Then hearing loss. What are all the drugs which lead to? Kenamycin, vancomycin, quinine. List to all the question hai. Once more, among aminoglycosides, you must know what are vestibular toxic, cochleotoxic, and both toxic and most out of that. You have to be sure. But not metronidazole. Juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma. It is one among the top 10 topics in uh, ENT topic list. And it is basically supplied by internal maxillary artery is the main blood flow. Even ascending pharyngeal, median arteries also contribute, but their contribution is very minor, is what you need to remember. Pulitzer test is the one which tests for the eustachian tube dysfunction. Generally, a Weber test, Rinne test, Pulitzer test, so many tests are there, no? It will, one question will come. Then, Oh, almost 
टू डिकेट से अगर आप प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन पेपर 20 इयर्स देखे तो एक पी क्यू एल नहीं और एच डी गए वन आर द अदर विल डेफिनेटली बी आस्ट इन एग्जाम आई डोंट नो वेदर द ऑप्शन आर करेक्टली रिकॉल दर नॉट नो वॉट वॉज द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन ओके आई मीन अल्टीमेट क्वेश्चन आइडिया इज वॉट आर ऑल द इंक्लूडेड थिंग्स इन टू द एच डी आई वो तो है ना हाँ दैट्स राइट इफ वी एकदम ऑप्शन टू ऑप्शन रिकॉल करें तो एम्स वाले देर फील बैड इसको इतना प्रिसाइसली क्वेश्चन पेपर कहां से मिल गया बोल के तो लेट एस लीव सम इम परफेक्शन इन रिकॉल द क्वेश्चन ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन ऑन रेबीज डॉक्टर चाइल्ड हैड ए अनप्रोवोक्ड डॉग बाइट यू थॉट ओनली ह्यूमन विल बाइट विदाउट प्रोवोकेशन डॉग्स ऑल्सो समटाइम्स रेयरली डॉग was found to be healthy what is the next step in management start the treatment and observe the dog for 10 days and if it is healthy leave it otherwise continue treatment not don't stop treatment and wait for uh, all topics completed all preparation completed then only take mock test oh principal waha bhi theek nahi hai yahan bhi theek nahi hai start taking full scale grant test taking subject tests and every week you improve and identify where are the missing areas of your preparedness now doctor you want to do the look at the defibrillator whether it is in place or not what is your answer ha huh? simple housemanship mein karne wala regular cheez hota hai iccu mein ek chest x ray mangate and uh, chest x ray is the best way by which you can identify whether the defibrillator is in place or not uh, is what need to be remembered one question on positive predictive accuracy negative predictive accuracy sensitivity specificity without that there is no spm high yield area so sensitivity is about true positive specificity is about true negative as all of you know very well two groups of infants inka birth weight ko compare kar rahe एक ग्रुप में मदर्स को सप्लीमेंट्रल न्यूट्रिशन अंडर अटल बिहारी शिशु माता संक्षेम पदक इज बीइंग गिवन टू मदर्स इन द अदर इट वाज नॉट गिवन सो यू वांट टू कंपेयर व्हाट एंड व्हाट हियर यू वांट टू कंपेयर द मीन वेट ऑफ वन ग्रुप एंड मीन वेट ऑफ एनदर ग्रुप weight is called a discrete variable or a continuous variable continuous variable discrete variable kya hota hai yes or no if it is the answer are you pregnant means yes or no i am slightly pregnant moderately pregnant nahi hota na to yes or no jab answer hota hai waha you will compare how many proportion said yes in this group with how many proportions said yes in that other group and you are comparing proportions when you compare proportions you use chi square test in a discrete variable and continuous variable mein mean values ko compare kar rahe to you will use student t test then what is meant by paired t test ek population ko liya before treatment after treatment you have done in the same population for a continuous variable then you use a paired t test is what you have to basically remember increase in the non communicable disease since previous year or previous years what was the question year or years what did your i c years plural or singular प्लूरल था ना प्लूरल ही होना पड़ता प्लूरल ही होना पड़ता क्यों सपोज टेन इयर्स बैक वेन यू टुक एम डी एंट्रेंस यू गॉट फाइव थाउजेंड रैंक नेक्स्ट ईयर फोर थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट ईयर थ्री थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट ईयर वन मोर टेन थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट टू थाउजेंड वैसा ट्रेंड है तो बहुत सालों से उसको क्या बोलते सेक्युलर ट्रेंड बोलते 